Hi everybody, my name is Jana and it's a pleasure for me to show you the way of uh, my way of making neck bands. Uh, I'm usually I'm making uh, neck bands this way for many years and I like uh, this way to do it because of it's simple, it's uncomplicated and usually results uh, it looks pretty neat. And uh, I use this neck band as a part of uh, our project cardigan uh, as a stash busting project cardigan from uh, yarn from stash and um, the cardigan now is ready and now I want to show how I made neck band in this cardigan. Uh, I decided to, to show it on a small uh, model, small uh, piece of uh, garment, uh, which uh, probably will be much easier to show you, show it on video on knitting machine. Um, so I needed a small piece of uh, stocking net, approximately six inches, uh, six uh, stitches wide and something like 50 70 rows long and i draw my neckline and sew it using a zigzag seam and cut it out by scissors and now i'm ready to make my neck band to do my neck band i take my uh, piece of garment and straighten it out i really don't stretch it i just straighten it out to decide a size of my neck band uh, I had a bad experience with the stretching of my fabric for uh, making a neck band because of I don't uh, in at least uh, in my experience uh, it's pretty easy to make your neck band larger than necessary and uh, in many cases neck band prone to be stretched after cutting and sew project even the neck band which is done conventional way by binding off uh, by uh, forming of neckline and binding off uh, at least in my hand also prone to be stretched so that's why usually i uh, straighten it out without really without stretching it and uh, decide a size of my neck band after i decided the size of my neck band i pull all needles of uh, my uh, neck band in forward in non-working position and uh, I start uh, the first uh, part of my neck band. It's a uh, making a chain wrap. I'm doing a chain wrap here for demonstration purposes. I'm uh, using a contrast colored yarn for chain wrap. It's a contrast colored yarn and it's also yarn which is little heavier than the main yarn. Of course, in real life, you will use the same color and the same uh, thickness of yarn. But here I decided uh, to just to demonstrate how uh, you, my neck band works and which layers my neck band comprises of. So now I'm doing a chain wrap. It's a basically it's not a chain wrap. It's a just a chain which I make on my needles. It's not a beginning of. It's a not a cast on wrap. It's a just it's a just chain. This chain have only um, it's a only decoration. It doesn't have any constructive uh, purpose of uh, when I'm doing my neck band. So it's a just decoration because it's cover my uh, line uh, when my neck band uh, joined uh, join my uh, main piece of garment, my front part of back part. And this way, uh, by using a chain wrap, I'm covering for imperfections on my um, neckline, which sometimes can occur. If you don't like this chain wrap, you can easily avoid it. You can just do it perfectly without. And now I'm uh, I will uh, hang my uh, fabric on my needles. And usually uh, it's pretty important step because of uh, I want to um, 
to make this seam as narrow as possible. I want to hang my needles as close to my zigzag uh, seam as possible. This way I will increase chance that I will make a first uh, row by machine. So I don't need to uh, knit it manually. And usually when I hang my uh, stitches, I hang first uh, edge uh, stitches at the edges of fabric and afterwards, afterwards in the middle of fabrics and uh, in the middle of a uh, half of fabrics and in the middle again so this way i hope i can distribute my fabric as even as possible usually i use one or two prong tool when i hanging my stitches but of course it can be easily done with a larger uh, transfer tool It's not the fastest thing to do, but it's not bad. When you hang all your stitches on your machine, it's a good thing, um, just give you a few seconds just to check that all your stitches are there. Uh, because of it's so easy to overlook and skip some stitches, otherwise probably to hang the same uh, stitch to, to neighbor needle. Especially often it happens when you are doing um, uh, stitches which are bind off some regular way. And, um, and if you overlook it at this stage, so you will have a uh, holes in a joint uh, between your uh, in a joint between your neck band and main piece of fabric, and these holes when you first have it, uh, have these holes, it's pretty hard to cover. So basically, if you overlook it at this stage, you have to redo your neck band. You just gently pull it down and see that is everything is there. And I already noticed that I uh, missed some stitches. So now it's the right time to put them back. Yes, now when we are sure that we are sure that all our stitches are there, it's a time to make an e wrap. Uh, I'm using contrast colored yarn for e wrap for the same purpose that I use it for chain wrap. I just want to show all layers uh, to show all layers of my neckline just for demonstration purposes. But of course, in real life, you will do it uh, using the same uh, color and the same. Uh, thickness of yarn. The main purpose of this e wrap is create base of our neck band. So we will use uh, loops uh, created by e wrap uh, when we hang our um, our neck band uh, uh, half of neck band on the needles. Because of after we finished our neck band, we will hang uh, our chain wrap to the uh, end uh, of our uh, neck band. And this way we will create a uh, two layered uh, neck band. And now it's important, uh, it can be pretty important thing. If at least it's a changeable thing. If you are knitting on brother knitting machine, all brother knitting machine have similar option. Uh, they have a rubber wheel, which you can push forth and back. And when your rubber, uh, rubber wheels are placed in the placed backward, like I show here, so it creates a larger uh, space for knitting. And this way, uh, the chance to knit a thicker garment, 
uh, is higher. And our neck band now uh, comprises of several layers. It's a chain wrap, it's a main garment as an e wrap. And uh, this way probably we will increase chance to knit it using our knitting machine and avoid hand knitting. But of course in certain situation your knitting machine still cannot manage it because of your garment is too thick. So just nothing to do, just knit it by manually. It will take little, slightly longer time, but it's still it's still doable. But it's nice if it's possible to knit it using your knitting machine. So we will give it a chance and see what will happen. Uh, the main tension of my garment is uh, three, so now I need one row at tension four. just to join them together yeah it works so i don't need to knit it manually so i just continue my neck band i will i decided uh, to knit eight rows uh, of my neck band uh, so it means i will knit eight rows and make a folder and eight rows again so uh, the main tension of my yarn is three, so now I will put a tension of my uh, yarn uh, to number two, because of I want to start slightly tighter than my main tension, and I will need one row on uh, on uh, tension two, and afterwards I will reduce tension in each row just for one step. You know, uh, most of knitting machine uh, have a, um, a possibility to reduce attention. So I reduce it from 2 to 1.6 uh, and from 1.6 to 1.3, from 1.3 to 1.0 and so on. So I will reduce each row for one step of tension until I reach eight, uh, reach eight rows. I have slight problem with my yarn tension while I am knitting because of uh, lighting for my video. It's uh, my lamp uh, which lights my machine. It's uh, it's hanging right here, so it's pretty hard for my yarn um, feeder to provide a reasonable tension. So, but I'm trying to do my best. So now I'm done my eight rows, and now I increase a tension to tension number four just for single row the main purpose of it is to create a fold uh, when i need one row in a larger tension so i will make a, um, this row will uh, help to create a fold and afterwards i come back to the tightest tension and need eight rows in each row i will increase tension for one uh, turn of wheel so it means i will uh, increase tension from a tightest tension back to my tension number two so i've done my eight rows And now I am removing my weight and I begin to hang my uh, loops which was created by e wrap on my needles. These loops are very, very visible, very easily visible. So you can easily see these loops. So you will not make a mistake and uh, hang wrong, uh, uh, wrong um, stitches to your uh, needles. So it makes things much, much, much easier and much faster. And even you can use a two or three prong uh, transfer tool to hang these uh, loops. 
Of course, here I used a contrast yarn, but it was used only for demonstration. In real life, it will be the same color of yarn, but it's also it's a larger loop, which are very visible and easily visible. It, it's easy to it's easy to hang. So, um, of course, it's a e wrap. It's a completely optional. You can decide do you want to do it or not but after my experience it makes things much much easier and this row with e-wrap uh, looks also very nice from front size side because of it's virtually invisible from front side now uh, we finished uh, i'm finished with my uh, finished uh, with my uh, uh, with hanging all my loops on my needles and now the only thing i need I need to be sure that everything is uh, here and uh, to knit one row and bind off. And basically that's all. I will knit one row on tension number four. So it means a slightly looser as a main tension. But in reality, you can also use your main tension to do it. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I decided to use a contrast colored yarn. Uh, but in real life, of course, you will use uh, the same color of yarn. So I'm done with my um, last row. And the only thing I need is a binding off. And you are very welcome to use the way uh, of binding off that you like. Everything is fine. The only thing you should be uh, aware of is the tightness of your binding off. You should not bind it too tight. Um, not too tight and not too loose. Just try to find a optimal tension. Here is our uh, garment, piece of garment, our neckband. Uh, see how nice it looks. It's uh, round, it's tight, it's not too big, it's not too small. It's, uh, uh, it's uh, sized perfectly. And uh, it also looks nice on the pearl side. This row that we uh, done in the middle of our neckband, which was knitted in a slightly uh, larger, slightly looser tension, uh, worked uh, well because of it creates a nice fold. And here is our neckband after short, uh, after brief steaming. Uh, and as you see, a chain, it's very visible here, but of course it's visible because of I, this purpose, used a contrast colored yarn and yarn which is a little heavier. Because of, in real life, if you will use the same color and texture of yarn, it's, uh, it's not as visible. But it's still cover for this uh, join. And now our neckline looks nice and round. And here is the pearl side. As you see, uh, we still we still have a tight and round uh, neckline, and uh, and the endings uh, edge of our neckline, it's a, it's not as uh, you know delicate as the edge which you make by linker machine, but um, but I think it looks okay, especially when you take in consideration the way the easiest the easiness of making of this neckline. Um, 
so the, if you make neckline this way it's not as it's not as complicated even if you are so unlucky and you make some mistake probably miscalculated or made your neckline too tight or too large uh, so it's not as painful to redo it because of it's not so difficult to make and uh, and i apologize for this tension problem see it's my lamp which is uh, which is hanging there just very close to my tension unit it's pretty hard to make a tension but i cannot make a video of decent quality without this lamp so i have to tolerate it but it's a temporary thing so my better lamp is on the way and thank you so much for watching my video and i'm really happy that you do it and if you like uh, if you like my video write me in comments i love to write uh, to read my comments and it was yana and thank you very much